when I feel at ease with the people who are important to me, when I am able to do the things that I want to do and not do the things that I don't want to do, then I feel happy. Like, do you think I would be as happy as I, I believe I usually am when I show up to a show if I had some deep, dark secret that I was hiding from you? Like, if I was, like, compulsively whacking off to pornography or if I was just spending hours a day in you know, sexual fixations or if I was having sex that embarrassed me if uh, like I was engaged in illicit gambling or I was just going around unnecessarily alienating people and creating a whirlwind of negative consequences for myself, I, you think I'd show up as a happy guy? No, because my public presentation of myself is pretty similar, right? It's, it's more disciplined on this show than in, in real life, but th there's nothing you know, dramatic that I'm, I'm hiding. And so when you're able to be reasonably transparent when you're accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish when you feel master of your domain right i have uh, i have not spilled my seed in for 12 years plus when you're master of your domain when you know you're not looking at porn and i used to i used to look at a bit of porn when you're not sacrificing your dignity you know, to have you know sex with a bunch of randos when you're not going around needlessly hurting and alienating people and you know, causing harm to innocent people, right? You don't then have to go into defensive crouch and worry about the whirlwind that's heading your way, all right? When, when you have that sense of efficacy, right? Where you, you know, feel a mastery of your own choices and your words, and it's been greatly helped by the Adderall and the ADHD medication, right? The Adderall helps the impulsiveness and helps me to stay on track, but the clonidine and the Stratera helped me modulate the intense emotional ups and downs that come with ADHD. In particular, since I've been on all three of these medications, I have not suffered from that rejection-sensitive dysphoria, which completely disfigured my life.